Hello guys, today we shall be dealing with database access with PHP PDO that is PHP version 7 and PDO is meaning uh, PHP data objects is the extension that is added to PHP version 7 and we shall be dealing mostly with uh, with the database access as well as the um, the HTML forms, the basic HTML form that submits data to database and how to access database with uh, PHP data objects uh, because we have many duplicated functions in PHP that is PHP version 5 like uh, my SQL connect and my I'm not sure about my SQL I connect but I have seen that my SQL connect is no longer working so let me open up my IDE and then we shall be able to try to see how to access some database with uh, with uh, PHP data objects and let's um, uh, yes we have like visual studio code so we have this code I wrote this code five minutes ago but I will be able to sh to rewrite it or write it in a new page so let's save this new page as the as um, as as the the new page because a lamp allows me to to store my information my web information right here so we can write it as um uh, db hi okay as db connector dot php and this is the php file um i will not be able to use the class like i used the class right here but i will write a raw php structured code that you'll be able to see the difference between my SQL Connect versus uh, PDO, and let's try to begin now. Okay. Yes. Now we have like PHP. All right. All right. So now uh, we have to declare some variables here. That is DB db host which is assigned to local host and we have like a db name db name that is database name um, the default is test and because i haven't created the new database and so like we have db user db user which is like um root then we have like uh db pass which is db password db pass and which is nothing and because of this uh these variables now we can try to establish a connection based on the these four variables that means I like always to try and cache so let's try and then cache so this is the dry cache block and now we will be able to try connecting to the database and then see if the connection is established then there is no problem it is because i'm not sure whether my zem control panel has been started or not but i'm just writing this php code no problem so let's try to um connection or con is new pdo that is the the instantiation of the pdo class and 
so we have like let's all right and then from here you can just terminate right here and uh, right the driver which is my SQL the advantage of PDO is that you can con Control the database access according to you use one connection for multiple database connection if I, it was SQLite I'm, I was going to write a SQLite in this parenthesis here so we have like my SQL host my SQL host which is like um, DB host which is like um, db host and let's terminate it and then we have like a db name db name which is like um database name like uh, db db name all right so now from here can come out with uh, the variables such as db db user what is it a go and then we have like db pass db pass db they go and we have like db pass and from here we are sure we can set up some options right here but because of this tutorial i will not be able to set any pass any any options be, uh, i think we shall be considering them and i will tell you in another tutorial why and how do they work such options like um, uh, we have uh, set attribute which contains multiple parameters and we shall be talking about it i think in the next tutorial but i'm now writing how to access the database with pdo before we can query the database and no problem let's, we can go on if ever this statement is successful we can just echo for for the newbie's sake we can echo um data base or oh, let me say server and database connected yes so if ever this statement is does not contain any error then it will echo that database and server is connected else in the cache block let's uh, Add an exception should it happen that there is a problem so that it can print an error message so that we can see what is actually taking place inside this script so hereafter after this tutorial we are expected to see how we can query some database and then see if we can submit some information there so let's catch the PDO exception um, all right all right and then now we can print the error message e dot get message e dot get message e dot get message so this get message is a function and let's try to see okay now we can test this script whether it works or not and okay i can see that there i forgot this uh, now let's try to to call this script this is the basic uh, style to connect using pdo for the new people who would like to migrate from mysql connect and to migrate it today the PDO concept. Um, in the next tutorials, we are expected to, to write an HTML form and then try to connect to the database and query some database using the insert query 
maybe in the next other tutorial then we can see that we can get some information from the from the database this is uh, the basics of the PDO concept in PHP so let's try to run the script and then see what is actually taking place uh, should it happen that okay mm. local host and connect to uh, let's check the name mm. all right db connector at php all right db connect to dot php yes server and database connected why because if you can localhost and then try to see the database uh, i will try to make the wrong database name the database that is not existing so that you can see the error that will it will print as a uh, on the e dot get message so now uh let's uh, let's check now we have like php my admin we have the database test and the, these are the numbers of our databases we have like new mysql this can be installed in php my admin so we don't have a problem here and now we shall um we shall be able to to see this uh you have seen that let me write a wrong database name uh, maybe it's like half so that you can see what is the the error that can be produced here um, now you see we have like a non database health you see that so if you, you can see that we don't have such database but if it happens that I put like database test or any other database that I can let's create a new database here create database um, CCCC that is my workplace I am working at the Catholic Comprehensive Community College as an IT instructor I basically specialize in cybersecurity but I now teach web programming with PHP so I I shall just make a, a database with my my work name no problem and I don't think I'll be accused for that now we have like CCCC and let's see whether it, it will be case sensitive let's write it in small letters but when it comes to the web then we have to be sure that the the configurations are well all right there is no database such as CCCC in small letters. Let's write this in uh, in capital letters so that we can see what is actually taking place here. All right, now let's refresh this. Now database and server connected. So you see that in Linux we are actually case sensitive. So we have to make sure that we are be, we are actually aware of these mistakes because i know that people tend to misunderstand the errors that php makes when it comes to pdo so i'm making these silly mistakes because of the fact that i know that the newbies they have the tendency of um of being lazy to read the the errors so now let's uh let's move to the next error that people can make when it comes here people tend to to be able to, to terminate it here so you will be able to see that maybe okay okay there is no error um, I'm not sure but I don't think it's a right way to terminate it's a syntax error and the syntax error may it's a proof that you need to pull up your socks when it comes to the to the programming language and now um, I will try to thank you for watching or oh, some people also make some errors when it comes to the get message uh, function they tend to write the message uh, the message here all right 
all right so now um we have suppose you want to write your message here this is not right all right so um like error okay this is not uh, appropriate when it comes to pdo check the error that is that is the taking place okay let's check db connector so okay i don't know where the problem is but i know that this is not actually appropriate because you cannot see anything that is taking place here because some other browsers will tell you that you have made an error so this is the basic database connection in pdo and uh, I, I can show you some other techniques but this one is the basic one and if you have some questions i don't have a problem to answer your questions and thank you very much for watching and see you in the later video